Hello, Internet. I'm here with another pet game update, and today I want to do something a little different and hopefully a little faster than the previous videos, which have been a bit longer. The battle one was like an hour. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but I would like to add some icons to the game. So, you know, explore. Maybe we would have a ma map or arrow or something. Feed. We could do silverware or, or a, you know, meat stick or something. Log out. We all know what the log out button looks like, right? All those things. Let's put some icons on this site. Uh, but also, let's not make them ourselves. There's a thing called Font Awesome. Uh, no one is paying me to say this. Font Awesome is very useful. I we use it at work. For, we, we make a Blazor uh, slightly different. It's Blazor Wasm instead of Blazor Server. Don't worry about that part. Whatever. We use Font Awesome for our website as well, and lots of websites use it. Um, you've probably seen lots of these icons when you look at them. You'll be like, oh yeah, I've seen that. Um, and if, I don't know, if you like use no script, you probably see it comes up and but who uses no script like no one only weirdos like me. Uh, let's take a look at some of these icons. They offer you a bajillion or 26,000. Uh, they're only some that are free, a mere 2020. It's still plenty. Um, and like I was saying for food, you know, for the feed icon. Yeah, we could do a carrot. They've got some sil silverware. Yeah, I knew they had this drumstick bite thing. They've got an apple. Uh, they've got all kinds of things for logout. I'm sure they have something. Yeah, let's also try like exit, maybe. Sometimes it's hard to know what words you want. Yeah, door open. I mean, this is a pretty, again, I was saying, everyone knows what the logout button looks like. That's a logout. But, you know, maybe you want someone defenestrating themselves. <laughs> no, there's all kinds of options. So let's get this thing installed. It's pretty easy. It's pretty quick. This shouldn't take too long. Um, let's go start. You don't need to enter your email address, blah, blah, blah. If you skip all the bright yellow buttons, you'll see a much more subdued button that they wish you didn't click. <laughs> Who knows why they include it all. Called download. Uh, and we want 6.40 for the web. Again, Colorful Pro pay the money. No, we want the more subdued free for the web. Ah, marketing. All right. Um, whoops, didn't open quite the way I was hoping. All right, in here, here's my downloads folder. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. You don't need most of it. Uh, we are going to use the CSS and we're going to use some of the web fonts. So let's go ahead. I'll just do this in writer. Um, it's all going to go in WW root. Any right? Anything that I don't know. If you've done web development, it's it's probably supernatural, and you don't need me to explain this. But for anyone else, any sort of like images, uh, CSS, these kinds of they're called static assets. Uh, these should all go in the WWW root folder. You don't have to put subdirectories in here, but it's nice to nice to keep things organized. Um, I'll make a fonts folder. And in the fonts folder, we're going to put these six or maybe just these four. So brands includes, you may have noticed if we go to search. And once you're using font awesome, you'll use a search page all the time. So you might as well bookmark it. Again, I promise no one is paying me to say this about font awesome. Uh, but, but it is very useful. Again, you're like, huh, what kind of icon am I looking for? This is the best way to find them. Um, so if you look for brands, or we can probably just scroll and see. I mean, here's Instagram, right? Instagram, Discord. I think I saw like word route Figma. That's a yeah, that's another product. Um, so there's a lot of these things. Never heard of Algolia, but that looks like that's probably one. So all these silly um, brands have icons. If you don't think you're going to need to use any brand icon, you don't need the brands folder. Um, and you know what? Maybe I I won't use it. So I'll just get regular and solid. Um, by the way, you probably noticed there's both uh, TTF and WAF files. Um, which actually brings me to another fun point. So let's go, I've got a lot of stuff open as always. Um, let's go to another useful site that you should know about as a web, web developer. Uh, can I use, yeah. So can I use, if you do any sort of CSS or JavaScript with uh, Blazor, we don't have to do much JavaScript, maybe none at all, depending on your project. Uh, but do you want, you might want to know, does it work in all, in all the browsers? Like, is this thing I'm about to use um, super popular? Fonts are in that same category. So we can say TTF fonts. Who supports that? Hmm, IE11, partial support. Fortunately, we don't care about IE11. Um, WAF, so you know some of these are WAF, and there is, by the way, it'd be hard to know, there's WAF2, and you can type WAF2. So there's WAF and WAF2. And here again, it's, it's the browser support. Um, you don't care about IE11, and you don't care about Opera Minute. Another way to, you, to browse this data, you've got usage relative. So there are a very small number of people who use Opera Mini. 1%, I don't know. I don't know who these people are. I don't even know what Opera Mini is, honestly. Um, it's not Opera Mobile. 
I'm not even captured. I used Opera on my phone, but uh, I guess I don't get a, a little slipper of a bar. Um, anyway, yeah, no surprise. Everyone's using Chrome. Um, <laughs> so, but anyway, if, you, if you're ever curious about something that you find online, if you like look for CSS and you're like, oh, what's this like box shadow thing? Can I use that? Uh, spoilers, box shadow. Yes, you can. Except again, whatever in the world Opera Mini is. I wonder if that's the Opera that comes with like the Wii or something. I don't, I don't even know. Um, I, anyway, uh, so yeah, this is a really great place to check those kinds of things, um, CSS properties, uh, and, and even font support. So anyway, why are we doing both TTF and WAF? Kind of the answer is that some people support one and not the other, except it's been long enough that everyone supports WAF and, and WAF 2. So you really don't need the TTF files anymore at this point. Um, and why do both exist? Who, right, who invented WAF and WAF 2? They are compressed and smaller and optimized for web. Um, TTF files existed kind of when many people weren't using the internet. It's a really old format. Uh, and since time has gone on, people are like, hey, we can do things more efficiently, just in general, but also apparently specifically for the internet. I don't really know what that means, how you make a font you know, more, better for web, maybe it has to do with streaming or something. I don't know, but apparently they have. Uh, so anyway, they give you both because of backwards compatibility issues, but again, we can see everyone's got WAF 2 at this point. Um, except, I guess, Internet Explorer 11, which has partial support for TTF. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe for use case, you do need to support Internet Explorer 11. They've got 1 in 200 users, apparently, maybe. Um, let's not worry about that. Anyway, enough of a, of a side tangent. I said this would be a quick video, and I'm rambling about can I use. But again, very useful website. Um, if you want to know if some random CSS thing you found online is, is going to work. Because uh, there are some new features. The ones I pulled up broad support across the board, but new stuff gets invented for CSS all the time. So you, you can look it up if you're if you're not sure. And you'll get a sense of the kinds of things that are common or not um, as you do more CSS stuff. But anyway, uh, the, the fonts are in. We have the two font files. The other thing you need is some CSS files. So we don't need all. That file is huge. They say for development purposes, you might want to use all, or if you're just playing around, um, you don't need all. Uh, what we really want is font awesome, regular, and solid. Uh, you could do brands if you decided to do the brands. Um, I think I didn't write. Yep. Uh, the other thing, though, is you might notice we have these .min um, files, and they're smaller. What's the difference? The min files are just, they're not compressed like a zip file. You could still open and read them, and we can look at one if you want. But they've taken out all of the white space that technically isn't required um, and done some other little things to make it even smaller. And when... Again, I've kind of talked about this with SVG files. There are ways that you can make those smaller as well by re reducing or eliminating redundant information. Um, and it's just best to go ahead and, and, and use the min files, unless you really are going to go poking around. Like if you, if you think you're going to really get deep with Font Awesome and maybe you want to cu start customizing stuff, you're going to want the non-min version to play with. Um, but I think for Font Awesome especially, the chances of that are very low. Like maybe if you were doing some JS library for debugging, but like for a CSS file, it's, it's probably not. So anyway, let's take these three in. You always need the Font Awesome file. And then again, we want regular and solid. And if you wanted brands, you could do brands. And some of this other stuff is for backwards compatibility with older versions of Font Awesome in case you were using some like class names and stuff. This is a new project, so you're not going to need those. Um, all right, next thing we need to do is we need to actually use these um, files. We need to include them in our CSS. There's a couple ways you could do it. Uh, you could go in one place and it doesn't matter because uh, let's not do that. Let's instead do this. So we're going to import uh, font awesome. That'll do. And we're going to import solid. Yep, we've got that. And I'm going to import regular. Perfect. That's really funny. GitHub Copilot was like, oh, you're doing fun. Awesome. I know how this goes. I wonder if it's going to suggest other things. Yeah, do you want brands? <laughs> we don't. Um, but thank you, GitHub Copilot, for making that suggestion. Um, again, no one's paying me to occasionally praise GitHub Copilot. I just like being nice to the AIs. Um, okay. And not just because of like, I don't know, people like to laugh and be like, let's be nice for when they take us over. But like, Let's also be nice just to not get in the habit of being assholes to things. I don't know. I, I just like to be nice when possible. Um, so anyway, more tangents. Um, we've imported the CSS. We've imported, uh, and, and that will do the, the work of loading the font, so we don't have to do that. Oh, and, and just to, again, show what does it mean for it to be minified. They've done this. 
all the CSS is like really crazy long on one line because they've removed all the spaces that aren't technically necessary, right? Like here we've done all this, but technically you could remove all of this white space and say, we don't need it. I can do this. <laughs> uh, that makes it look very unreadable. Something I don't actually know, I'll look into this. It's good to set up, um, you know, we click when we click play to start the game, it, it builds the project, right? And we see this too when we, run, when we do migrations. If you've watched other videos, it has to build all of your code. You can add extra stuff to the build pipeline uh, to do other things like minify your CSS for you because, you know, especially for this CSS, we want it. We want to look at it this way. We want it to be easy to come in here and tweak the background color and all these things. But when it is time to deploy, again, we'd like this to be compressed as much as possible. Maybe I'll make a video about that separately. Um, unless I find out the Blazor server, which again, I don't have a ton of experience with, uh, maybe it does that for us automatically. That'd be great if it did. It should, I would argue. Other frameworks like Angular do. Um, but um, I don't know. Microsoft and Blazor sometimes feel a little, a little behind the times on some things, I'm being honest. Uh, they might not do it out of the box, but we'll see. Um, and speaking of such things like SCSS, it'd be great if Blazor just supported that out of the box. We know it doesn't. Anyway, let's not dwell on those things too much. Let's use some icons. <laughs> let's find the logout. Um, and sorry, by the way, I shouldn't do these keyboard shortcuts without saying what I'm doing. Uh, for Writer, and I think Visual Studio as well, Control Shift F brings up a global search. I find that super useful. Um, I want to find the logout button, and I don't want to go hunting for it manually. So I'm going to search for the text logout. And here it is, logout. I want to add a little icon in there. Um, there's no reason, by the way, that we can't put in some space. So yeah, how do we do that? This is where we would go back to the Font Awesome website. And let's find the person exiting somehow. Whoops, free icons only, please. We don't get portal, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll just do door open. Why not? Well, no, let's not be weird. Let's just use the same thing everyone would. So you come in here, and they show you. This is the HTML you need to write. They use I to mean icon, because I is a deprecated tag, you shouldn't be using it for anything anyway. Um, so I don't know, I handily stands for icon if you want it to. So let's copy that and paste it in. And that should be it, unless I've done something horribly wrong. Uh, let's start this up. I think, yeah, hopefully we should start up here. You can see my other YouTube windows are uploading stuff. Log out, great, not working. Why is that? What have I done wrong? Um, I swear I did this earlier, I tested this out. Uh, let me pause the video and see what I did wrong, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm back. I see what I did wrong. So, um, Font Awesome by default looks for fonts in a very particular place. We might be able to find that in here. Um, it's expecting this folder to be called Web Fonts. That's what it is. So, uh, maybe that's the more modern thing that people call, like CSS is a very common name. That's where you would put your CSS files. If you looked at almost any framework anywhere, most websites, they're going to call it CSS. Maybe web fonts, it's the same story these days, and I'm just not as, like, on that. So anyway, that apparently was the problem. Let's restart and, well, or so I've just seen. Hopefully I'm right. Oops, that's a YouTube window. That's not what we want. No, that's where it's open the game. Um, SF5 here. All right, here we go. That was the issue. Um, so now I've got a logout button. So let's go ahead and make the other ones just to demonstrate. And, and that's the whole thing, though. That's it. Find the icon you want, throw it in the HTML. Sorry, just to... Um, right, I didn't change anything here. This part's correct. Just paste this in and you're good. So let's find, um, oops, sorry, I'm down here where I was finding, they said, um, put it in web fonts. Then I remembered, yes, that is what I did the first time I made it. I just forgot. Um, so let's find a food icon. I think the utensils are probably good enough. Oh, again, we need free. And actually something I've done for work, again, because we use this all the time at work. This URL, I've noticed, search free. I just bookmark that. I don't have my bookmark bar open apparently for some reason. Um, but yeah, you just save that. I mean, you'll be here all the time again. And actually, we recently paid for pros, and I don't use free anymore, but I used to. Anyway, you can bookmark free. We didn't always have the paid version at work. Um, so anyway, let's look for food again. Not photo. Also, you'll notice sometimes it does weird it, it does weird things on the search where you're like, how is that related to what I searched for? This, this all looks pretty good. Like money bill wheat. Okay, it's got wheat. What's square NFI? I don't know. Sometimes it's interesting, like, what are the tags under the hood? And you can tell that it also, um, like, let's do meatball. But what if instead we typed, well, there's a good example, basketball. Apparently they said, well, I don't know, ball and ball, close enough. Uh, but something else that can happen is if just a couple letters are missing, um, like, can we do M? That's interesting. So it found cloud meatball, but it didn't find 
Anyway, sometimes it's really weird on what it finds. I thought there was like meatball. Yeah. Anyway, it, sometimes it, it, there's a word that you're like, I don't know, moat ball. Let's suppose that was a real thing. Moat. It's going to find meat anyway because it says, I don't know, it's only two letters off. So if that's the example I should have come with first, but whatever. Anyway, I don't know. It takes some getting used to why I find it. So I was like, well, why is it finding all, what, what does recycling have to do with moats? And I still don't know, but you like look at the tag that they've tagged these things with and you're like, oh, it's two letters off. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted again. Um, can't help myself, it would seem. Let's get utensils and we'll put that in the feed button. So if we find the page for pets, house, um, I'll just put in some extra white space to make it read a little better. I didn't do anything special there, by the way, so I pasted like this, but just pressing enter, IDE is nice and re-indents. Um, there's definitely differences in how Visual Studio Writer and VS Code auto-indent for you. And for me, that's one of the things that trips me with the most switching from IDE is there, it's interesting how used to one editor's auto-indent rules my brain becomes without even knowing it. And then I switch to another one. I'm like, why is it doing everything wrong? And why can't I type? And it's because of weird cell differences like that. It's just very silly. Um, anyway, I wonder what if Explore, like, should they have binoculars? I wonder, bin binoc. Yeah, binoculars, that's a good Explore icon. I'm surprised that Explore didn't find that. Again, like those sorts of things, like, you know, I searched for moat and they get the recycle symbol somehow, but I search for Explore and I don't find binoculars. Eh, I don't know. Who knows what their logic is? Um, again, I'm just going to rely on them to fix it up. And let's go see that we have all these nice icons. I think you get the point. You didn't need to see me hook up like two more of these, but it's here. And it, I think it may be a thing to note too that I kind of just skimmed over. Right here, that they're black on white. Here, it's white on blue. The nice thing about using, um, I can close these other tabs. A nice thing about using Font Awesome. And again, I kind of glossed over this and didn't say anything like, why is it fonts, right? Why isn't it a bunch of images, just static static images that you refer to or, or a sprite sheet if, you, if you've encountered those before? And the reason to use a font is that you can color them. You can say font color equals red, font color equals whatever, font size. You can change the sizes, right? So there's a lot of things you do with fonts that happen to be very convenient um, for icons. And so, yeah, fonts are a great way to deliver icons. And recoloring is definitely great. It's really hard to do a, a good recolor on just a, a flat image. Um, there's like CSS things you can do to rotate the colors, but you can, you can get some pixel artifacts on that and it's hard to control exactly what color you land on sometimes. So yeah, having them as a font is, is really great. Um, probably should have said that earlier on, but anyway, there you go. There's font awesome. That's basically the whole video, so I won't ramble anymore. Um, if you have other ideas for things you would like to see in pet game, uh, definitely leave a comment. Um, and if there are other things you would like to add to that game, also maybe before you make the suggestion, check out the other videos in the playlist. There's a link to that playlist in the description. Um, maybe you even found this from the playlist, in which case you don't need me to tell you these things. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, make a great game. I would love to hear about or or see in the wild someday a game that someone made a pet game. That would, that would be incredible. <laughs> um, but yes, have fun and goodbye.